Hi everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Guys, today we're going to take a look at just an absolutely gorgeous 1971 Plymouth Cuda. It is a real Cuda. Gorgeous car, guys. I bought this car about five years ago uh, from a private, collect uh, private collection out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, sold it to a very good customer of ours, Brad, who's bought several cars for me. Just actually traded it back in on a uh, uh, Hemi car. Gorgeous car, though, guys. Like I say, it was a. It's about a seven-year-old complete rotisserie restoration. It's body color underneath, just like it is on the top. Factory Y3 Curious Yellow. Um, it's got. It's a matching numbers pistol grip four-speed trans. It's a factory 340 doesn't have the matching numbers 340 engine in it but it does have a 71 date coded 340 engine one of the things i thought was just super cool the car is loaded with options shaker hood urethane bumper uh front turns uh, uh front uh, fender mount turn signals rear window louvers uh it's got the go wing very cool car uh, 71 kudas if you know them tough for me to get guys um, very very nice car uh, it's got a healthy 340 in it it's got Keith Black Pistons roller rockers so it scoots pretty paint on it again factory Y3 curious yellow there's probably about 5,000 miles on the restoration now It's got the rear window louvers. If I remember, yep, matter of fact, there's a little spot you can see right there, a little crack in the paint. Sorry, just a little dust, guys. Um, that was there when I actually sold the car the first time. It was there when I bought it. Uh, it's got the rear deck spoiler. Love the color. Man, does it pop, guys. I've been out here waiting to shoot this car for about 15, 20 minutes. We pull it out front, and of course, everybody slams on the brakes and turns in here because this color just drives people crazy. The billboards on the car are very nice. Uh, it's got the Goodyear polyglass, um, sorry, a little dust there. Uh, good, Goodyear polyglass, um, uh, polyglass tires on it, sorry. Uh, it's got the uh, factory 15 inch rallies. Cuda rear valance. Sorry guys, I'm a little pressed for time here. I'm actually getting ready to leave out of town for a show and Leroy wants this thing advertised bad. Disc brakes. Again, it is a factory 340 car. This is not the matching numbers engine. It's a 71 date coded engine though. Um, it, it's a uh, 340. Um, you can see it's got a really nice set of um, aluminum valve covers on it, ceramic headers. Again, it's got Keith, Pat, Keith Black pistons. Roller rockers. It's got that uh, the TA front power steering. Uh, front, I'm sorry, TA front power steering with the uh, power front disc brakes. Does have the matching numbers. Uh, pistol grip, four speed trans. Detailed up real nice underneath the hood. Mopar radiator with the shroud. Vin still right there on your core support. Great car, man. Killer car. It's got the guild fenders. Uh, this piece is a little short on the car. I did notice that on that. That was like that when we bought it. That piece actually could pull off and sit out and have polish. Matter of fact, there's a guy here locally that does it, Gordon Duda pull it off, ship it to him in the winter, and he can make that thing look brand new.
uh, dual sport mirrors. Oh, there's something in the paint there. It's got the black vinyl interior. It's got the leather front seats. Pistol grip shifter. It's got the Barracuda wheel in it. Factory rally dash with the tack and gauges. 28, uh, 822 on the odometer. I'm sure that's 128. AM radio. Um, it's got dual exhaust, eight and three quarter. Uh, uh, 355 sure grip rear end. Uh, factory jack with the spare. It's all body color in here as well. Nice underneath, guys. Again, all body color. Very nicely done car. Again, the billboards are real nice. Good looking car. Steering wheel's nice. And the rally dash. Pistol grip shifter. It's got the AM radio, but it does have that's a remote. There's an aftermarket uh, radio here in the glove box. Jay fired up here. Guys, it, it, it scoots. See if I can do these hood pins by myself here. I'm getting good at this. It's not the easiest thing to do with one hand. Sorry, guys. Come on. Of course, you're not trying to scratch the paint. I'm going to have to hop out and do that one day. Can't get it there. Parking brake does work. Tack works. Uh, looks like all your gauges are working here. Go ahead, Jay. I'll have to rev it up so they can see the tack working. It's got an I did it tilt column in it. Tack works. Again, parking brake does work. Backup lights work. Sorry, Jay, I'm getting ahead. Go ahead and do that again. I always like to give you a little rev. Um, the little reverse light works too in here. I don't think the blower motor's working, guys. Radio does work. It's in here. It's all remote. Wipers do work. We're not going to turn them on because they don't want to park right. Gotta, in other words, they stop. You got to get out and park them. Again, yeah, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Another great way to keep in touch with us is through our Facebook page. 
Or as always, pick up the phone, give us a call, 248-620-3355. Well, that's a good looking car, man. Boy, those 71s are just so unique looking. Hey guys.